Okay, we're going to be look at calculating the efficiency of a single phase transformer. So here's an example problem for you. We have a 5 kVA 240 to 120 single phase transformer. We did a short circuit test on it and during the short circuit test the watt meter indicated that we had 1042 watts. Now if we recall the short circuit test we hardly had any voltage applied to it to make rated current flow through the secondary. And then we read the watt meter on the primary and that water re watt meter read the copper losses. So copper losses and of both the primary and the secondary combined. We also then did an open circuit test and the watt meter indicated 35 watts. Well on the open circuit test we put rated voltage on it and we checked the watt meter and there's no load on the secondary. It's wide open and it indicates 35 watts. So that is the core losses. So a little review of that. What we're going to try calculating here is what is the full load efficiency of this transformer? So at full load that means we're loading it up to full 5 kVA and then we're going to redo this and what is the efficiency if we only put it up to 70% of that load? So 70% of 5 kVA. Uh, if you recall this formula back, the efficiency formula, I think you guys went through it in both uh, first and second year. And the most basic efficiency formula is percent efficiency equals power output, so whatever the output power is, divided by the power input. So what is power input? Power input is going to be the power output plus whatever losses are on the transformer. And so as we recall, we've got two types of losses. We've got core and copper losses. The short circuit test give us our copper losses. The open circuit test would give us our core losses. Okay, so one thing with core losses, a little review, core losses are constant uh, with rated voltage applied. So as long as we have rated voltage applied, uh, we're going to get our core losses in there. So um, they do not vary with the load and they can be determined using the open circuit test. Copper losses, on the other hand, they are proportional to the square of the current and can be determined if the resistance of the windings and currents are known in both the primary and secondary or if we did a short circuit test will determine the full load copper losses. So very important, they're proportional to the square of the current. So P equals I squared R. So if the current changes a little bit, it's got an exponential effect on the true power that is dissipated by each one of those windings. So in our question here, let's go ahead, let's start with uh, just calculating what's the full load efficiency of this transformer. And I'm going to use this formula right here. I'm just going to write it out another way. So the percent efficiency is going to be equal to the power output. And in this case, it's going to be the full 5 kVA divided by bracket power output plus my losses, which is copper losses, plus my core losses, and end bracket, and times it by 100 when we're done. Okay, so to calculate this, we are going to go, our power output is going to be the full 5,000 kVA, so it's all watts, 5,000 watts. Remember this formula is true power, okay? So it's 5,000 watts, we got this thing, it's at unity power factor, whatever the load is, over 5,000 watts plus 1,042 watts plus 35 watts, and bracket, times 100, and that's going to come to roughly 82.3%. All right. So that's our full load efficiency right there. So answer to question one is going to be 82.3%. So let's compare this right here. I don't have a lot of room left, so I'm going to erase this actually, this portion, so I can work on the 70%. So to calculate at 70% load, what that really means is that our, our 5 kVA transformer is only at 70%. So 5,000 VA and 70% of that 
is going to be equal to, uh, what are we at, 3,500 watts. So that will be our new power output, okay, P output. All right, and so what else was in our formula is the two losses. So at 70% load, the copper losses are going to remain constant the whole time because we're still going to have rated voltage on it. But what is going to change is the uh, copper losses of 1,042 watts. Those are proportional to the square of the current. So what would we do with this to figure out our copper losses at 70% load? We take our full load copper losses, so CU full load, and we're going to multiply by 70%, so decimal 7, squared, okay? So by multiplying it by 70% squared, we are going to get that, that uh, reduced capacity. So let's just type that in the calculator. So our full load copper loss in this case is going to be 1,042 watts times 0 0.7 squared. So anytime I square a decimal, it makes an even smaller number. And that should come to roughly 510.58. Five, so there, we've calculated our losses at 70% load. Now I can go ahead and put this in my formula, the percent efficiency at 70% load. will be equal to, same formula, power output, which is now 3,500 watts, divided by bracket, 3,500 watts, plus my copper losses of 510, my new co calculated copper losses, plus my core losses, which are 35 watts, end the bracket and times it by 100. Calculate that out. We are looking at roughly 86.5% is our new efficiency at 70%. All right. So let's try another example here. In this example, we've got a 12 kVA transformer. So the rating of our transformer here is 12 kVA. The primary voltage is 4160, and the secondary output voltage is 600 volt. Okay. It says that we have a load connected to this right here, and it's 9 kVA, and has a power factor of 0 0.85 PF. All right, so the H winding has got more information here. The H winding has a resistance of 0 0.5 ohms, and the secondary winding or the X winding has a resistance of 0 0.25 ohms. Okay, so <clears throat> if we look back to our formula, I'm just going to write it down here. So percent efficiency is equal to the true power output divided by power output plus copper losses plus the core loss times 100. So let's work on figuring out our true power output first. Okay, so let's deal with this load. Let's, uh, and then once we have that, we can just start checking off what we have. So core losses were given, okay? So the power output. Well, we have a 9 kVA load, and it's at a 0.85 power factor. So I can do a quick power triangle for this up here. I can put my 9 kVA up here, so 9,000 VA, and my power factor is 0.85. So I can determine my true power of my load. So this is the S, there's the P. So the true power of this would be 9,000 VA times 0.85, 
and it should work out to about 7,650 watts. So that would be our power output we calculated. Okay, so we have power output in our formula. What we have to do next is determine the copper losses. So the copper losses are based off the actual current that is flowing through the windings, okay? It doesn't matter if that current is in phase or out of phase. And so whatever we have on the secondary current flowing through here, that's what's gonna generate the heat when it flows through that resistance of 0.25 ohms. So what we have to do is we have to use the 9 kVA to determine what the full current is gonna be going through the primary, through the secondary, and then determine the losses on each one of those. So let's start with the primary. So to calculate the I of the primary, I'm gonna take the apparent power, KVN equals KVA out, so the S of my load, and I'm gonna divide it by the V of the primary. So we're under a 9,000 VA load, and I'm gonna divide that by my primary voltage, 4160, and that's going to give me, uh, what is that, 2.167 amps, or 16 amps. All right. So if I want to calculate the power loss on the primary due to the copper, so loss on the primary, I'm going to go take I squared R of the primary. So I the primary squared times the R of the primary. And that would come to 2.167 amps squared times 0 0.5 ohms. And what does that come to? About 2.34 watts. 2.34. Okay, let's do the same thing for the secondary here. So I the secondary would be equal to the S of the load divided by the voltage of the secondary. So that's going to be our 9000 VA divided by my voltage of my secondary, which is 600 volts. That comes to 15 amps. And then I'll calculate the power of the secondary. power loss of the copper losses, I should say, of the secondary. And once again, we're going to do I squared R, so 15 amps, so that's a secondary current, times the resistance of the secondary, which is 0 0.25 ohms. And that will come to approximately 56.25. All right. So, we have both of our copper losses. We are, have our core losses. We've calculated our power output. So I think we've got everything now we need to calculate the percent efficiency. So I'm just going to change ink here. So the percent efficiency, it's going to run it out of room, so I'll do it up here, is going to be equal to power output 7,650 watts divided by bracket 7,650 watts plus our two copper losses, 2.34 watts plus 56.25 watts plus our core loss, which is 35 watts and the bracket times it by 100 when you're done. And if you put that in your calculator, you should roughly get about 98.8% efficient. Okay, it's good.